Rick here at Methite, and uh, in an earlier post, I talked about the uh, GCF. So today I want to talk about the LCM. And the key with the GCF was teaching them the concept of intersection. Well, as you know, the key with the LCM is teaching the concept of union. How do you find the, the LCM? Of course, we understand you got to factor the two numbers. If there's more than two, factor the three numbers. So I factored the 12 to primes and I factored the 30 to primes. Now I get my students to list everything in chart form. So I've got the 12, I've got a two times two times three, and I'm careful to tell my students, and if you watch my other blog, you, you understand this, that you only put the numbers in their respective column. Twos only go in a column of twos, threes only go in a column of threes, five only goes in a column of fives, etc. If there is no column for that number, then make one but you can't put a five in a three column or a three in a two column. That's the key to everything. That's gonna help you to clearly get the union. It's gonna help you to clearly, when you're doing a GCF, get the intersection. So we understand the answer here. Um, the LCM is, and I tell my students this, union means every column gets represented with this factor. So I need a two for that first two column. I need a two for that second two column. Even though there's only one in it, there is a two column there and we need a two for it. I need a three for the three column and I need a five for the five column. Of course, once you do this, it's so easy for your students to then clearly differentiate between the GCF where they're looking for intersection, which would have been two times three or six, and the LCM, which is two times two times three times five. And look, if you'll teach them this chart form, Later on down the road, when they're trying to figure out common denominators or they're trying to figure out an LCM to remove fractions from an equation, it can get complex. You can have binomials, and we can show them the same concepts of how to figure out that LCM. Uh, it could be pretty intensive fractions, and it's the same concept, and we'll use this chart, and we'll help them out. Look. I don't know if you do it this way, but it's a great way to teach the LCM. It's in chart form. Key idea is getting to them the idea of union. Hey, we've got lots of free resources for you at uh, mymathlight.com. Feel free to take a look there. You know, uh, we're here at Mathlight and we're trying to provide resources for you and helps for you. And so we have some free things for you and some other things available. So we're here at Mathlight and we're hoping to be a help to you.